Good afternoon, everyone. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing great. It has been a while since I've done a tutorial like this. Thank you so much for coming on today. And I hope we have fun because I want to try something different. And I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. So uh, I'm going to connect to my other platform. If you guys don't know, I do have other platforms like YouTube, Amazon. And um, on my Amazon page, please look at the comment that is in the comment area because on my Amazon page, you can follow my Amazon page. And that is where I showcase all the products that I'm going to be showing you today. So we're going to go in there and then we're going to connect and go live. So bear with me. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming on today. It's always so nice to see everyone on here. Um, my name is Shola and this is Discovery Natural. You can connect with me. Please do feel free to go over to uh, my Amazon page. Click that follow button wherever you see it. Uh, if you have any questions along the way, you can always ask me, you can always show me, you can always um, send me a message if you want to. So um, let's start this and I'm going to show you a couple of things. Okay. So we're going to use a couple of things when doing the hair. Uh, I have a child that is going to come over to my place tomorrow and um, she has very short hair. Uh, I'm going to style her hair. I'm also going to style it in this hair accessories that we're going to make. So let's, uh, let me show you my Amazon page. So this is my Amazon page. You can see me right on there. I'm live on my Amazon page. And when you go on my Amazon page, this is what you're going to see. So you're going to come on here. You're going to be able to see idea list. And what are idea list? That is just like categories of things that uh, if you want, you can use for your body. You can use for your hair, for your home. And I just made it easier for you to find what you want. If you want to make a hair growth oil, you can make it right over there. So I have different categories of things that you can, of course, purchase using that. You can also see pictures, photos and stuff and i also have videos that you can watch for anything gadget home anything that you want to see kids um toys kids anything hair accessory hair videos you can always watch them on here they're very short less than three minutes long some of them are even not up to one minute long and then i also have my live videos when you click on view all past lives you'll be able to see my live videos right over there and you'll be able to go and watch much more and learn more. So, but do feel free. Don't feel any way about contacting me. Feel free to contact me. I'm always available on any social media uh, platform. Contact me, ask me your questions. And I see people are already asking questions. Thank you so much for coming. Hi, Darren Jones. And I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for coming on and um, asking me questions and stuff. So let's get started with this. So a couple of things that we're going to be using today. Let me bring my camera down so that you can see my um, mannequin, <laughs> my mannequin right here. So we're going to be using my mannequin Yolanda. Um, you can always also get Yolanda right now is not available. So um, the celebrity Whitney. Whitney is my assess my mannequin that I want to get Whitney. And Whitney right now, she is available to you. And um, I'll show you what Whitney looks like. Whitney is much more darker than uh, Yolanda. But Whitney, you can find Whitney over here. So let me show you what Whitney looks like over there. I'm going to pop her up on the Amazon um, page so that you all can see if you decide to try out. So that is Whitney. Whitney looks like Yolanda. The only thing is that Whitney's skin color is different, right? Okay. So with that being said, welcome Whitney, Yolanda, whichever one you want to the stage. Okay. So we're going to be using other things and everything is listed on my Amazon page. That is why I do want you guys to check out 
my Amazon page because that is where you find the information, right? Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my spray bottle to moisturize the hair. Okay, so first spray the hair. So before you do this style, you want to moisturize the hair. So you can use a moisturizing cream. My daughter was playing around with this mannequin. That's why if you look at the back, you see the back of the hair is braided up. I don't know why she was, she was playing around with it so much. So I'm just going to unbraid it and stuff. Remove this. Uh, please. Hi, Hope. How are you doing? So nice to see you. And please, this is a live. Some people are, some people come to the lives and they don't realize that this is a live show. They are like, okay, why are you talking so much? <laughs> and I'm like, it's a live show. Live shows cannot be like two minutes long. People are so impatient. But it's okay. It's okay. We love them anyway. So I'm going to just loosen the hair at the back. And then we will start with the styling process okay we are done we are done so i'm gonna give it a nice spritz i like this spritz so this spritz is really really nice for, especially if you're someone that you don't want too much water on the hair so after using the spritz i'm gonna use my rat tail comb and this is a braiding sectioning comb really really nice comb especially if you're doing hair um you can get a pack of it right now on amazon a pack of six for $6.99. I eat Gioma. How are you doing? So I'm going to do a very simple style, nothing, um, nothing elaborate because the main focus of this live is to create that DIY hair accessory. So we're just going to create the hair, split it in half. This style is very good for kids that they don't like their hair messed up. They don't like you just touching their hair anyway, braiding their hair. I'm going to be using this hair mousse. This is a shine and jam hair mousse right here. And I'm going to give it a good shake. And it creates this foam. And it gives the hair a nice slick hold. Okay. I'm just going to put it all over the hair. It also helps prevent um, flyaways, flybys, flyaways, whatever you call it. And it gives the hair a very, very nice shine. Okay. So next, after using that, wipe my hand. I'm going to um, brush the hair with my Careco Tangle Buster. This is what it looks like. It spreads really wide like this. And it really brushes the hair really nicely. So let's just brush the hair really nicely. And this style, you could put the hair into two ponytail, braided ponytail. And that is the style I'm going to do tomorrow. Um, so I'll post a picture on my, I think on my other platform. So showing you the style I did. So take the hair. We are going to get a hair tie. A simple hair tie and I'm just going to tie up the hair and we'll repeat the same thing on the other side and I'm just tying up the hair to keep the hair set and away right so we're going to repeat it on the other side brush the hair real good and you see how nice and smooth the mousse makes the hair okay Awesome. Okay. Just tie it up again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yolanda is like, she's moving her head too much. <laughs> okay. So now we have these two pompons, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. We have these two pom-poms. So now we're going to start creating the hair accessory. So I'm going to set your lander aside for a little while, and I'm going to show you what you will be needing. Sweetie, just stay here. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you what you will be needing for this um, hair accessories. So the first thing that you'll be needing is, of course, your hair ties. 
right? Today, we're going to use two hair ties. And I got a thicker kind of hair tie. Like that. Um, I'm going to remove, let me, yeah. So anyway, then you will also be needing spring twist. So these are spring twist. You see how beautiful they are? This is like a passion kind of crochet spring twist. It's in this crochet um, bundle like this. This is the kids version. So this is eight inches. So you can have eight inches just like that, okay? And I have it in three packs. So there are three of this, but we're only gonna use two. So this contains three, three. Um, so this is eight. So there are eight in here. So you're gonna use that. We're also gonna use the collective bomb bombs. <laughs> what do you guys call this? I don't know what you guys call this. I call it bonbons, but I don't know what you guys call it. So what do you guys call this? Do you call them bonbons and bu bubbles? My kids used to call them bubbles. So you need these bubbles, things, and then you're gonna also need barrettes, right? And I found this really, really cute barrette with like pastel colors, very light colors. You can also get it in dark colors. So that's what you'll need. So how do you make this hair accessory? For this, you can make it while on the hair, but I'm going to try to make it outside of the hair. So to help me with that, I'm going to be using this as my holder, right? So I'm going to use this as my holder. I'm going to put this on here. Makes it very, very simple. Like that. You guys see? Okay. So I'm going to put it like this. And then let me get uh, so that you guys will be able to see it properly. Okay. Okay. Um, bear with me one second here. Okay. I'll do it like this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So we're going to do it like that, right? Okay, so the first thing that we'll be doing is we're going to get the hair, assess the hair, crochet hair. And I'm going to get my crochet hook. So you're going to need a crochet hook for this also. Um, then I'm going to take, so imagine this is the hair. We're going to take the crochet hair. You're going to open it up. So I like this crochet hair because it's kind of tight on here but you can actually open it up. So I'm gonna open it up and I'm going to take my crochet hook. Let me make sure I can show you guys. Put it through like this, hook this in like that, pull it through like this and bring it in, okay? So if you don't have a bottle like this, you can use your spray bottle also. I'll show you with the spray bottle and then pull it through. And it's as if you are doing a crochet. So you just pull it through. And once you get one in, you are good to go, right? You're gonna look like this. So let me show you with the bottle. So in case you have a bottle. Yeah, bobos. Hi, Nom Nom, how are you doing? So you can use the bo bottle. My bottle is not that big, so that's why I didn't want to use it. So you see, like this. So you're going to repeat that and just keep on using, doing that. So you just, you can even open the crochet if you don't want to use the crochet hook. You can open this like this. And if you don't want to use the bottle, so I'm giving you many options of how to do this. Just take it. Take it like this, so you have that. So you want to take your crochet here, open it up like this, hold it, take the ends of the crochet here, pull it through, and just tie, oh, sorry. <laughs> take the end of the crochet here like this, 
See, that's why. Pull it through. Okay, you see what I'm doing? You pull it through. Like this. And just tighten it. Okay. I'm going to repeat that. So that by the time I'm done with this, you guys will see how I do it. Okay. I'm going to put on my wrist. <laughs> Take this. Open it up like that. Okay. Hold it like this. You see how I'm holding it? Hold it like this. Pull this through. Like that. You just want to create it, like knot it up on there. Okay? Very simple. And then shift it as you go. So let's do this again. Take this. Open it up like this. Pick up the rubber band or the hair tie and then swing the ends through the loop, through this loop. Okay? Or through that opening hole. Swing it through the opening hole. Okay. And tighten it. Let's do this again. Open it up. Pick it up. So you're going to pass the hair through this hole. So take the hair, the ends of the hair, and we're going to pass it through that hole. Not through the crochet. If you pass it through the crochet, it's going to fall out. I want to make it as tight as possible. And then once you, you can always squish it to the side, okay? And rearrange it. So let's continue. Take this. Pass it through the hole and tighten it. Take this. Pass it through the hole. And tighten it. So this is really nice, especially if you are someone that your child doesn't have a lot of hair, has short hair. So now we've put three, three. Um, we have one more left, so we're going to do eight. I'm going to put it through the hole like that. If your hair, your child has short hair, and you're like, you can use um, braids, you can use um, locks, you can put locks and stuff. Okay, so we're done, right? So we've created this, right? So this is what it looks like. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna arrange the bobos. <laughs> Naomi called it bobos. We're gonna arrange the bobos. Um, I want to get clear bobos so that you can interchange it. And I'm going to do two bobos. So I'm going to take the two bobos like this, and I'm going to tie them together. So I'm just going to tie this together in a knot. Right? So in a knot. And then you'll see what I do. So I'm just tying one in a knot like this. So now we have it as if it's three. Remember the one you tied in the knot. That one, we don't mess around with it too much. Now, this is what it looks like. It looks like four, right? I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it in the middle. So we have eight, which means we're going to split this into two. You don't have to put it in the middle. I'm just so anal like that. And I'm going to put it in the middle like this. And I'm going to tie it in a knot again. So this is the loose one. So try and pass it through if I can. So try and pass it. And this is because this you can loosen after a while, but you don't want to 
Once you create this, you can create so many of it. And if you go online to buy this stuff, people are charging a ham and a leg. They're selling this stuff. So if you're an entrepreneur person that you want to do a DIY, you want to start making this, you can make this and you can sell it. I don't sell mine. I just like teaching people how to do stuff like this. So I'm just going to try and tighten the bobo <laughs> as much as I can. And you end up like this. So imagine if you had a lot of pretty, pretty colors and you'll be able to get very pretty stuff. So now I want the pretty colors at the end. And that is where these barrettes come in. Thank you, Amazon customer, for following me. I appreciate you. I'm going to give you your your stars and sparkles and shout outs. <laughs> Thank you so much. So I'm going to add the collective the um, collective bowls in it or collection bowls in it, um, barrettes in it. And we have so many lovely colors. These barrettes have so many, so many lovely colors. So what I'm just going to pick, because the little girl that I'm going to be doing her hair tomorrow, she loves pink. So I'm going to be putting the pink. So to secure this, I'm going to take the barrette like that. I should have worn a white shirt. And I'm going to wrap it, wrap the ends of the hair. I'm going to wrap the ends of the hair and I'm going to clip it. So it's going to be like that, very cute, and it's not coming loose. Also, pull on it just to make sure that it doesn't come loose. So we're going to do more. I'm going to add some purple in case our mom wants to dress up in purple during the week. Okay, we're just going to wrap this. Okay, pull it and clip it in. Okay, I'm going to add yellow. I love these pastel colors. I mean, when I was picking it up, um, my daughter was like, oh, those are cute. You know, and a lot of this stuff you can find, Amazon just does a good job at giving you different collections, different selections of different stuff. So I will be adding more pink. So this is white, but I'm gonna be adding more pink to it. So let's add some more pink. Just have so much fun. Imagine if you did this during Christmas time, you're going to have um, different Christmas colors. You can even do it for July 4th. So July 4th, we can, oh, thank you, Cookbook Diva. Wow, Cookbook Diva just started following me. Thank you so much. You guys go check out Cookbook Divas. Thank you. Yeah, you like my metallic nail paint. My daughter, she does my nails. Yeah. You can find this online. So um, Amazon sells like Sally Henson. Um, Amazon sells them. So if you go on Amazon and you check for metallic um, nail paint, oh my goodness, they have such a huge collection. So I'm putting some purple. I want to put, so I put, you guys see, it's so, so gorgeous. Ooh, so gorgeous. So, so gorgeous. Anyway, um, I'm gonna put like just a couple blue. She doesn't like the, she doesn't like blue, so I'm just gonna put one blue just to you know, <laughs> just a little bit. Maybe I can get her to like more colors. So I'm gonna add a little light baby blue. So let's put that clip. We just put a little light baby blue, and then I'm gonna add more of the pink because you know we like pink. <laughs> okay, so adding more of the pink in there. So remember, we're making two of this. So for those just joining us, you are such in luck. So you guys see how this looks? This is one way of doing it. So now I'm going to show you another way of doing this hair accessory. So this is one way of doing it like this. And I'm going to show you another way of doing it. Okay. So the other way of doing it also involves your hair tie, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So in this time, this one is a bit, bit tricky. You're going to also need your bobos. So we're going to take our bobos like this. Okay. Like that. Now, I'm going to do something quite interesting. I'm going to take my bobos and I'm going to interlink them like that. So let me show you what I just did for you guys. And what did you just do? I'm taking the bobos, the ends of the bobos, and we're just going to interlink it like this. 
You guys see how I interlink it? And then I'm going to tie a knot. So we'll tie a knot with the bobos. Okay. They're a bit slippery. So just be mindful of that. Okay. I'm going to do. So I'm going to double the knot again. And double the knot so that it doesn't come loose. Ooh. Let me break my nails. So yeah, they're slippery. So be careful. And that's it. So now I have the bubbles like this. You guys see this? Uh -huh. Okay, so you have the bubbles now. Although you have this hair tie, you could take this hair tie and tie the bubbles onto the hair tie like that. But I'm not going to. If you don't have a hair tie, this is the method you want to use. Just want to, and it's the cheapest one. <laughs> Just want to get your bubbles like this. So you have two in the middle. Now you're going to get your, um, your eight inch let's go let's go pick it up uh yeah so any of your eight inch spring uh spring hair tie uh spring spring hair tie. any of your eight inch spring twist or passion twist crochet see how beautiful they are this one's up so much such a little, little coral at the end okay gonna take that and we're gonna just on unwrap it let's unwrap it get it apart from there so now we're gonna take this we're gonna put four on this and four on that right so using your crochet hook you could use your crochet hook you don't have to i really advise you not to use crochet hook because it's a little bit tricky you're gonna hold the bobo so i'm gonna show you i'm holding it like this right you could also tie this on your hand like this and then you're gonna hook it but it's a bit difficult if you do it do it that way so i'm gonna do it like this you know hook it like that take the hair let's remove this here for me so i'm showing the difficult part here so that you guys go oh no i'm not doing that <laughs> so you're gonna take the here, put it on this finger, take this, push it through like that, as if it's a piece of hair. Take this, wrap it together like this, pass it under, pull it through at the back, connect it. That's why I'm saying you don't want to use the crochet hook, but if you're like, oh, I would like to use a crochet hook, that is why you don't use crochet hook. <laughs> So let's save ourselves the headache. You guys, save yourself the headache and do what I'm going to do now. Just get it like this. Spread out your finger like this, okay? Get the one part, take this, wrap it like we did with the hair tie, pull it through. So simple. You see how simple that was? Less stressful and pull it and then shift it and you got it. We're going to repeat that. And this method is so much faster than trying to maneuver that crochet hook. I take it, pull it through, wrap it inside, pull it out. I'm going to slow down, okay? And pull it through. So this is a slow version. Take the hair, open it up like this. Take the ends of the hair tie, pull that, you see the hair tie, I'm just, or the bubble, take this, pass it through, like this, and pull it, okay, and once you pull it, you are good to go, see, so we're going to do it again and again and again. Thank you everyone for watching. I appreciate you spending your Sunday with me. I know you could be doing anything. Hi, Brit Brad. Thank you so much. It's been a while. How are you doing? I hope you're doing great. Yeah. See, if you have grandchildren, if you have nieces, nephew, you could make a whole bunch of this for a gift. So we've done four. And you see four just fits it perfectly. Okay. And then we're going to do four on the other side. Thank you for coming. We did one method before. Now I'm showing you a second method 
of something you can do. Okay. Ooh. Got my charger. I need to go and get my charger. Bear with me one second. Girl, I forgot my charger. I'm like, why do I forget my charger? <laughs> okay. So let's charge. Okay. We are good. We are good. We are good. We are rolling, rolling, rolling. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to put some more. We're going to do some more. So I've put just one on this side. Remember, we're on the second side. You have two in the middle. You have one on each side. So we're going to do this. I hope that one of you guys, if you are in need of cash, this is a way you could make so many of this and you could, you know, you could make it into a business, right? So I'm actually helping you guys make money. <laughs> wow, you guys, please feel free to patronize my Amazon page. Click on the follow button and follow me on Amazon. I will really appreciate that. So we've done, we're on the last one now. So you could sit down while watching Netflix or watching um, any of, the shows that you watch. I don't know what show are you guys watching right now <laughs> on Netflix. I don't know. I used to, I was watching um there was this movie. Okay. So this is how it looks like. You see that? So it looks like that. It's nice and full. So this is one with just the bobo. This is one with the hair tie. Okay. So you have two different ways of making it. So the last thing we're gonna do is just add our barrettes on there. So I'm just gonna add the pink because you know you know pink little girls and pink some girls don't like my like my oldest daughter she like blue so if your child like blue you can always go on amazon and get blue and stuff but for this little one i want it to match the other ones so i'm making sure that i'm picking similar colors so the other one add white so i'm making sure i pick white okay Okay, we're gonna get more paints and purple. I, I bought two packs of it. So let's put more pinks, wrap that in there. Okay, and then I know we did a blue, we did yellow, we did two purples. One light purple, and then we did a light pink. Um, yeah, just gonna have fun with this blue and we're gonna do purple i think yeah we're gonna do purple awesome Ooh. Do purple i don't want the ends hanging out so i always wrap the ends like that i'm gonna do a i'm gonna do a dark pink okay yeah so we're going to do a dark pink and then we're going to do yellow. Yellow is going to be the last one. So just wrap that around. Yeah. So I found, where did I get this idea from? You guys, I didn't create this idea. I found it online. And I was like, wait a minute. Why would I pay? How much are they charging? Like $25? I'm like, no. I would like it when I can go on Amazon and buy all this stuff. Yeah. So we're done. Okay, let's assume she is our little girl. And um, I'm going to bring you guys closer. <laughs> so what we're going to do is the ends of the hair, in case you you can braid up the ends of the hair, if you want to, you really want to, to be honest with you. You really want to, because you want to tuck it away. Because you want it to be as if you braided, you twisted up the ends of the hair. So that's what you want to do. So we're going to take the ends of the hair. I'm just going to braid it up on both sides like this. And remember, this works well for kids that have long hair, kids that have short hair. I'm going to take this and I'm going to wrap it around the hair. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna wrap it around the hair like this, okay? And you can tuck it into the hair tie that was there before. I'm gonna tuck this into the hair tie that was there before. 
And I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side. Okay. Just braid it up like this. Simple braid. I would suggest braiding instead of twisting because twisting can come loose. So I would highly suggest braiding. Okay. So after braiding, I'm just gonna wrap it around the base like this. Wrap it around the base, wrap, wrap, wrap. And then just tuck the ends in. You can also flatten the hair after you do that. So you see how this protrudes out like this? You can go here and then you just flatten it up like this. Okay. So next we're gonna take the hair that we made, um, the hair barrette. You guys see how beautiful it is. So this is the second one we made. This one doesn't have any hair tie and stuff. We just use the bubbles. And then we just use the barrettes only, just the bubbles and the barrettes. And the hair is so beautiful. So please go on my Amazon page. You'll be able to see how beautiful the hair is. Very nice colors of the barrettes and the bubbles. So now the bubbles that were in the middle, we're not going to touch those. We're going to take, you see how it spreads out? We're going to take the ones on the sides like this. And then I'm going to take that and I'm going to wrap it over the hair. See? over the hair, wrap it up, okay? And that's why I'm saying this works best for kids that have short hair that you can't really tie their hair down, right? So it hides, if, you have, if the kid has short hair, it will hide this, okay? So just imagine, use your imagination, okay? Like that. I think I, I forgot one hair barrette. We're gonna add a pink one to it like that. Okay. And then I'm gonna take the second one that we made, right? Yolanda. <laughs> We're gonna take the second one that we made, Mitona, so that you can see her. The second one that we made, I'm just gonna take that I'm gonna flip, let me show you what I'm doing. This is a hair tie. I'm gonna take this, put that over here. I'm gonna take this right here and I'm gonna flip that on top. So flip it to the top like that, right? And then gather it up in the middle like that and then flip it again, that's why the, with the hair tie one, you can be more, um, what do you call it, more circle, <laughs> tie it more. So this is an envision. Imagine the hair is not as long as this. It will just cover it quite neatly, quite neatly. So this is a vision of what you can do with the hair. Um, if you don't want to, if the child doesn't have long hair, you could always make this. Ignore that bump that I did. I think I'm going to make it a little bit nicer. Let's do that. You learn that. Don't worry. Don't worry. We don't want to see that bump. You can always take that hair that you braided up. You can always tuck it and make it even much smaller. So I'm just going to tuck it in. She's like, please don't make there be a bump. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like that. Okay. So this just gives you an idea, a little bit, a little bit of an idea. Um, let me fix that other one. Yeah. Good afternoon, Omotayo. Blessing, blessing, happy Sunday to you. Yeah, Yolanda's hair is long. So if you have a child with short hair and you don't want to put extensions throughout their hair, this is an idea of what you can do. Very, very easy easy thing you can do Let's see yeah okay so so you see how she looks yay <laughs> yay very very cute very very lovely i absolutely absolutely love it mm -hmm. 
Okay, guys, so this is it. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I really appreciate you guys. Please do go over to my Amazon page. Yeah, I'm sweating. <laughs> Whew. Go over to my Amazon page and follow me if you have any questions. If you want to know where I got any of the accessories, please contact me or go on my Amazon page. You'll be able to find it there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next live. And I'll talk to you all later. Thank you for just being, just being amazing. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, guys. So I would like to, um, for those of you that are not yet following my Amazon page, um, I'm just going to showcase more of the items we use today. So if you go on the Amazon page, let me switch you guys over to the Amazon page. Please, um, if you go on the Amazon page, let me just switch you to the view that you guys will see. So when you get to the Amazon page, you will see the follow button. Let me do this. Bear with me one second. Okay. So when you get on the Amazon page, you're going to see the follow button. So my Amazon page is amazon.com slash shop slash discovery natural. And you'll see the follow button right over here. Please do give that follow. Give me a follow. I will appreciate it so much. And so with that being said, I want to say thank you so much for watching and I'll see you. Have a blessed, blessed day. See you later, guys. Bye.